a love reading for Pisces. Specific for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node. Any of those major placements or the person that you're dealing with. Goddess of the Moon. That's you. Take these messages how they resonate. You can flip the energy if you need to. Adjacent possibilities. Envy. Someone could be showing jealousy of you right now. We have the first chakra, root chakra, money energy, sexual energy. Okay. We have a man holding a coin as well on the bottom. So there's definitely maybe some sexual energy happening here. Stability, possibly money, um, and a conversation about possibly something painful. You do have your intuition going here. And I think you see two different potentials, adjacent possibilities. Someone is envious of you, Pisces. Let's get something on Goddess of the Moon, please, Spirit. This is a love reading for Pisces at this time. King of Swords. So this could be the person you're dealing with. Nine of Swords. This person could have um, a problem with overthinking. Nine of Swords. Very anxious. Uh, feeling the need to control things. King of Swords. It could be the person you're dealing with or just their energy. So that's Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini energy. Or any of their major placements. But it's just a very mental, someone who overthinks things, someone who has a firm understanding of what they think they want. It's not very emotional at all. It's very in their head. Okay, and there's some sort of anxiety this person is dealing with. You're, I think you feel this coming from this person because the goddess of the moon. And with these adjacent possibilities, you've got the wheel. So the wheel of fortune. Good things will come probably from both of these or at least one of these opportunities something really amazing the hanged man you're gonna have to take some time here a lot of readings I've done today have basically been saying the same thing take some time and think this through you may be taking a break from this person to see what the highest possible potential is for yourself with or without them Sometimes you have to pull yourself away to do that. Four of Swords. There's some healing taking place here. This is, again, another card that means a break. Space, a break, to try to clear your mind and see just what's best for you. We also have Queen of Swords here. Okay, kind of sideways. It came out under Envy. So there could be a third party or there could be um, a friend, a past lover, a parent, anyone else. Queen of Swords is someone who's kind of bitchy. Um, she may be harsh with her words. They draw firm boundaries. This is another air sign card with this king of swords. There's some sort of envious issue here. Jealousy. Maybe someone wanting what you have. Or wanting these new potentials that you have. So this is that same Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Give me more on envy, please. Judgment. One more on envy, please, with the judgment. King of Wands. Hmm. There could be other men involved here. Or this person is seeing you as involved with, I don't know, this man here, King of Wands. So that's Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. It's a hypersexual energy. It's like big D energy. A commitment. Queen of Cups in reverse. Some sort of commitment here. Queen of Cups can sometimes be a manipulator. Someone who manipulates based on emotion. This is envy. This doesn't really make 
make sense. <clears throat> Someone may be pissed because you were chosen over them for something in a commitment. There is this emotional imbalance, however. What is this Queen of Cups reverse? Eight of Swords. The person you're dealing with, perhaps, is either up in their head about you, maybe they're trying to rethink how they feel about you, or this is what you're doing, Pisces, trying to figure out how you really feel about this person. In your head, maybe saying, this isn't right for me, or this isn't going to work out for me, or I don't like how things are going. And that's why Spirit just really needs you to take a pause right now. How does this person view Pisces? How does the person Pisces is currently dealing with view Pisces? Some sort of stress is here. Somebody jealous, trying to start shit. The sun with the knight of swords. So this person really thinks highly of you. They think that you're amazing, you're beautiful, you get a lot of attention. They think that you follow your heart. They think that you will make them oh so happy. And so they may act impulsively. They may try to rush in quickly. They may talk very quickly in conversations because they're trying to control you, their happiness. You're their happiness at this time. But they don't want to lose that. I feel like they're very quick to try to solve these problems or whatever is happening here that's causing the stress. What is this person's actions towards Pisces? What is this person going to do when they come in? Two of Cups. This person wants to maybe have a commitment with you. They want to be devoted. They want a mutual understanding here. They want to come together and get on the same page. Two of Cups is a soulmate energy, and it's the energy of this is mutual. We have an understanding. You're giving just as much as I'm giving. You're taking just as much as I'm taking. It's just a very mutual, loving understanding. So this person is going to rush in and say these things to you or show you they want this with you. Six of Wands. This person wants... They want some type of victory. They want this to work out for the best. What is this person's true intentions with Pisces? Two of Wands. I think they're looking towards the future with you. True intentions towards Pisces from the person at this time. I think they, they think they could have a a bright future with you but they're kind of still in this hesitation phase where it's just an idea of what could be the potential that they recognize intentions towards Pisces at this time three of cups one more celebrating um, maybe going out more being more social with you with the strength card. I think they think this could be a really fun and stable connection and could really last. That's their intentions. I think they just really want to be happy with you. I think they see you maybe as very independent, doing your own thing. They may think you come with a lot of baggage. And there is some underlying chaos here or some sort of manipulation that's happening. They see you as someone who's very beautiful and who kind of has everything they want, Pisces. Page of Cups. They may confess their love for you or tell you, you know, they're excited about this connection, where it's going, that sort of conversation. Um, <clears throat> it could also be an apology. It's a loving conversation that they're wanting to have. Okay, let's get some um, potential outcome and then we'll get the advice for Pisces. 
potential outcome, definitely a conversation, Ace of Swords, some sort of truth, some sort of conversation, some sort of epiphany or a new beginning that stems from some sort of very truthful conversation here. Um, it's a new understanding. It's like a knowing. So things will get very clear for you soon. That's the outcome. This person may be a soulmate for you. We got six of cups here. So it could be a past life soulmate. It could be um, someone coming back around. I feel like this person doesn't want to move forward with anyone else. We got six of swords. Um, kind of jumped out sideways here. So two sixes about moving forward for sure i feel like this person wants to move forward with you or is hoping to that's the potential outcome is moving towards calmer waters maybe figuring things out together ten of pentacles is having it all wish fulfillment nine of cups ten of pentacles it's having a very grounded stable connection that makes you happy okay please tell me let's get another deck because i'm running low on cards there let's do this deck spirit let's get the advice advice for pisces please and their person at this time <clears throat> advice for pisces ace of cups I think they're wanting you to be open to this as a new love or a full like in love connection here this is a new understanding or a new beginning with the queen of pentacles and the sun again leo energy you may have leo in your chart or the person you're dealing with I think the advice is to focus on your stability, stay true to who you are as the Queen of Pentacles. She's beautiful. She helps others. She's very generous and has a big heart. Um, she's stable. You know, and she's not really going to let anyone rock her. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Keep your boundaries firm. You know, and do what makes you happy. As long as you're happy and you feel like this is a loving stable connection i feel like this could be a really good thing that's the advice stay firm in your boundaries though tell this person how you feel if you want to take some steps towards this person say that because we have knight of cups with the hierophant if you're wanting more commitment from this person you're wanting to build with this person you see this person as your soulmate too i think ten of cups here two of cups nine of wands like you want to hold on to this knight of pentacles you see this as a steady long-term opportunity hierophant three of pentacles there is some sort of past pain here that's occurred something is happening here um maybe it's this person who's jealous or envious there's some sort of betrayal it may not have anything to do with you though this could be this other person who is pissed off because you've been chosen you were chosen for something okay you were chosen by this new person and so it could be an ex of theirs or it could be one of your friends that's jealous six of pentacles equal give and take this is something you're gonna fight for and i think this person is too that's a beautiful reading pisces um, let's get one from these during virtue love cards. Confirm this reading for Pisces, please. Reconciliation. So after maybe a pause or just rethinking this, someone from your past is returning to your life. Keep in mind that could also be past life soulmate. It doesn't have to be an ex. But reconciliation, you know, that energy is just like, we talked it out. 
We both feel better, that sort of thing. Anything else, Spirit? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And yeah, on the bottom, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So if this person feels familiar to you, I would say this is your reading, Pisces. Please share this with other Pisces or if you know someone going through something similar. We have self-care. Okay, that's that same kind of energy, four of swords. It's healing, it's taking time for yourself, it's kind of taking a step back, doing what makes you happy, doing what makes you feel stable and grounded. It says clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So yeah, definitely, that's been coming on every reading today. Don't do anything rash. Don't let this Gemini sun energy that we're in now push you into this mental space of trying to make things happen for yourself or trying to figure something out. Okay, take a pause, take a breath, and help yourself. Any more confirmations for this reading for Pisces? Protected and faith. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay. And faith. This is a destined partnership. So I do want to say it doesn't mean it's going to be forever, but it means for now, this is supposed to be happening. 